Hey, it's Blair. Um, I wanted to check in and um, kind of share where I'm at right now in my challenge group. I am starting week six today of my challenge group and I've kind of made the decision that I wanted to um, change some things around a little bit. I was doing Turbo Fire and um, I love it, but um, for me personally, I need to add in um, heavier weights because I was finding that the, um, the strength training videos were just like really like just weak sauce <laughs> is all my word I would use to explain it. Um, probably because I've already done a round of P90 um, and previously I used to be like a, a huge gym rat and I would be in the gym for like two hours a day like lifting um, pretty heavily prior to getting pregnant with my son. So I feel like I just need that extra um, those extra weights added in um, and since I've been cleared to be able to start lifting again I decided that I would do a, like a hybrid of the two um, and then on weight days I wanted to even kick it up another notch and add in runs and do like 5k's on those days too I know I'm getting a little crazy but um, I figure for me I need to kind of push my body a little bit more. I've been in a really, really long plateau right now. Um, a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm still breastfeeding my son, um, which I don't want all breastfeeding moms to think that they're going to have problems losing weight. Everybody's body is different. And I found that for me, the last little bit of weight that I have on me from pregnancy is being really, really difficult to come off. And I've, I've never had this kind of issue losing weight before. And um, breastfeeding can cause um, your body to kind of hold on a little bit harder to those last few pounds because it's trying to keep up milk supply. So for me personally, that's been a struggle for me. It's been really hard. It's been something I feel like I I didn't even really want to share with people because I didn't want them thinking that, oh, then if she's having problems losing weight, then I'm going to have problems losing weight. And the last thing I want is for people to start forming, like, excuses because there is no excuse to, um, to start getting healthier and working out. Um, I can honestly say, granted, yes, have I lost those last little pounds yet? No. Um, but I am faster running. I've been beating my um, my times almost every time that I go for a run. I'm seeing muscle growth. I'm stronger. Um, I feel better. And I know inside I'm, I'm much healthier. Um, and I have more energy. So even though maybe the scale or the inches aren't cooperating with my right now. It's a personal choice that I'm making to sacrifice that little bit um, and probably foregoing reaching my goal right now just so then I know that I'm continuing my choice to um, extend extended breastfeeding with my son right now because he's 16 months. Um, and we're just not ready to give it up yet and I don't think that me stopping to, just so I can lose what is it like five pounds of baby weight and then start working on the um, the other weight that I've always wanted to kind of lose and, and get my body to that you know perfect goal that I have set in my head is it worth it to give up something that I've worked so hard at for the last 16 months with my son it's really not um, so it's something I kind of wanted to share, kind of two things, obviously, that, you know, I'm going to hold myself accountable to um, this new schedule that I'm doing with my hybrid and adding and running and really just pushing myself harder. And who knows, maybe that's all my body needs is maybe 
because since I have such a history of working out really intense, um, maybe that's all my body really needs to break through this plateau. Who knows? Um, no one's perfect. I'm still trying to figure myself out and how my body responds to workouts. Everyone's body responds different to workouts, um, especially breastfeeding moms. Bodies respond different to workouts. So just, I guess, I wanted to share this for people who are maybe in that same boat right now with me, you know, where you're, you feel like you're working out and you, you're doing everything you can and you're eating right and you're, and you're just still not seeing what you want to see. Maybe you just need to be more patient. Maybe you need to pay attention to the other successes you're having with your journey, like what I was saying, I'm faster, stronger, more energy. Maybe you just need to start looking at that those things as a success versus if you know you're looking a certain way, because um, it's gonna get there. I, I know that it, I'm, I'm gonna get there. It's just probably gonna be a little longer for me, and that's okay. You know, I have a perfectly healthy, wonderful son. And that's what matters most to me right now. And I know that by working out and eating really healthy, that is, you know, making my body work more efficiently to provide better for him. So double bonus. Um, but yeah, other than that, I guess I'm just going to finish out these next six more weeks. So like I'm halfway through my challenge, got six more weeks to go and... We'll see how this goes. And oh, I forgot to totally say that I'm super stoked that my husband has decided to start working out with me again. Yay! Because I love working out with him. He cracks me up when he works out. He's he's hilarious, anyways. I love my husband. And he I always tell everybody probably the one thing I fell in love with him the most was that he is just ridiculously funny and always makes me laugh and smile. And working out with him. Is so much fun so I'm really glad that he is uh, decided to start working out again because he did before and then he stopped and I missed it so much so this will be fun so it was another kind of a reason why I was like you know what I might as well add in P90X because if anyone's done turbo fire it's not like the most manly of workouts and if anyone has met my husband I mean, he's kind of a, you know, your man's man. He's a football player. He's six seven. He's a big guy. Like, when he watches me do turbo fire, he's all, yeah, I'm not doing that with you, babe. No way, no how. You, you couldn't pay me enough to, to do that workout. So <laughs> it was kind of an even trade. So he's going to do, on the days that I do P90X, he's going to do P90X with me. But, um, so this has kind of gotten a little longer than I wanted it to be, but... Anyways, I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, I will talk to you again soon.